Welcome to a new RPG Architect tutorial on Advanced Tile Placement Mode. Let's begin. I'm going to create a new map. This is my test project that I play with internally, so nothing ever really works. And I'm going to go ahead and drop down this uh, structural tile. Um, you can see off the bat we're looking all right here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure the character is starting right here. Cool. Now, let's go back to our tiles. So, as we can see, this is a structural tile. If I were to start drawing something here, you'll see it starts trying to terraform and do all of that business here. Right? But let's say that we don't want that to happen. And not only that, that we would like to modify individual pieces of the tiles, right? That's where advanced mode comes in, or control A. You can already see that the grid doubles in size. So let's say I want to go ahead and put an individual piece right here. I can do that. I have complete control over the four quadrants of a, to uh, of a tile. I can go ahead and do something a little obscure here. I can grab from different tiles. Let's do something really weird. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is my, as I said, my normal test project. I'm going to make sure that it's configured for 2D. Okay, good. It's still set on 2D. Good. Go ahead and save. And let's run up on my other screen. My character is actually at a bottom layer, but you can see each of the tiles are rendering exactly that individual component, right? So you have full control over what you actually display. This works especially well in 2D mode, but I do not recommend it for 3D and structural because some of the translation that occurs currently in structural mode um, when it creates our um, the structure that you would stand on uh, could cause some problems with how that renders. So this is primarily for flat or 2D surfaces. And again, if you're not doing a structure in 3D, this actually should work fine. So you can do this in a normal, um, just for a flat plane, or uh, if you have, um, you're just using normal tiles. You can even use it with terraforming, just not structure generally. I hope that was helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and buy RPG Architect and uh, keep trying to feed Bert because he's starving over here, guys. Every dollar you give us goes to make sure a Bert in a starving third world shack in Georgia gets fed. I have been Locke. You have been amazing. Thanks. We'll see you again next time. Master Robot.